unknown brand spinner ceiling fan in the in this little porch area in my paternal relative's house. This used to be regularly used as the study, but I don't know what it's used as now. Now it's kind of like a storeroom. Anyways, this the brand of this could be Westinghouse or Canarm because the blades have <coughs> very similar resemblance to the blades of a Westinghouse slash Canarm turbo swirl ceiling fan. Could also be Anton because it's somewhat similar to an Ant to an Anton ceiling fan that I know of. I don't remember what it, what it's called though. So, anyways, this porch, as you can see, was closed off, so it could be used as a study room and stuff would be started here without getting wet by the rain and stuff like that. And they were also planning to air condition this room, but so they just thought that this fan was kind of enough. So yeah, this fan replaced one of these lights, by the way. So anyways, they were also planning on having two of these fans. There's another one that's nowhere to be found right now, but it's still in, it, it's still in the box. But they just found that this one seemed to be enough for whatever reason. So I'm still trying to find the other one because the other one could go in my paternal in my maternal relatives guest bedroom since that room could use a ceiling fan. It's in a proper ceiling fan, not just that little plastic one we have up there right now. Even though the plastic one is better than nothing. Anyways, there's a switch here. It's, a, it's actually a two-way switch. It's also another, another switch leading to the same. There's also another switch leading to this room from over there. So we can turn it on either by this switch or that switch. It's one of those like when you turn that one on, this switch will stay in the same position. And the on and the off position of the switch will be reversed. Kind of lights. This light used to have a nest in it, by the way. They removed it thankfully. Lights. They still have something in the chain. I don't know what it is, but it does not look good. Sorry, I pressed the lock button by, by mistake, so the video stopped. Could be an insect's nest. There's so many. This room is pretty habitable of insects, which is not the best thing in the world, so you could get a lot of these kinds of nests and whatnot. Anyways, let's start the one low. This fan is kind of loose. As you can see, it's in the mounting. Low speed is a. Is a Nice, it's low, low speed actually. It's good for if you want some air circulation. But not a, a, that strong a breeze. Dang it, my younger brother's practicing the piano in the middle of my video. But whatever. Let's bring it to medium. Medium is more like the average low speed of most fans like this from what I've seen. Or, 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 or faster low speed from, with, from the, with these kinds of fans. High. High speed is decent. It's this is a cheaper fan from under the beam, so it doesn't have a really fast high speed. Kind of wobbles a bit.
Anyways, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off, but from here actually, but I'm gonna try to start it from high later. I'm gonna show the spin down. I'm gonna put it in this chair actually. I'm not eating the couch because I found a spider in the couch once, even, even though there's a small one, so. The couch is probably filthy. Anyways, I'm gonna start it back up again. I'm gonna start this fan back up again. Anyway, anyways, by the way, this fan used to be in reverse when it was first installed. I told them about it, and we thankfully had it fixed. So yeah, it's not in reverse anymore. Anyways, that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, feel free to check out my channel. And if you like my videos.